hybrids are the last resort of internal combustion until plugged-in vehicles become the major players on the automotive landscape. The EV community might be against their further development, but car makers are resilient in the belief of steady transition rather than immediate adoption of zero-emission vehicles. Today we are presenting to you the newest hybrids of 2021 that aim for the MPG ratings of tiny compact cars regardless of their body styles. Subscribe to Automotive Territory to stay up to date with the latest car news. Hit the like button before we even begin and let's roll! Toyota Venza The Japanese claim that with the launch of the all-new Venza crossover, they have broken the sameness barrier in the segment. The bold statement is partially justified, as the SUV indeed looks fresh and instead of traditional aggressiveness, it inclines towards more elegant lines. Slotting between the midsize Highlander and the compact RAV4, the 2021 Venza boasts Toyota's premium lower grille design, characterized by thin LED headlights and a sloping roofline at the rear. The upcoming SUV will be offered exclusively with the hybrid powertrain, which consists of a 2.5-liter four-cylinder and three electric motors. Together, the system promises 219 horsepower and quite impressive 40 mpg in a combined cycle. Among the standard goodiness are the on-demand all-wheel drive, 18-inch wheels, full smartphone connectivity, and Toyota's suite of active safety systems. Opting for higher trims, you can get the Stargaze fixed panoramic glass roof, bigger wheels, and a 12.3-inch infotainment. Hyundai Santa Fe Hybrid Even with the Palisade rocking the world of family SUVs, the more affordable Santa Fe is still expected to remain the major workhorse within the Hyundai's lineup, especially so after the stunning refresh that mounts the model onto the new N3 platform, dares the conventional exterior design, brings plusher insights, and electrifies the model for the first time. The face introduces signature T-shaped LED daytime running lights, a wider grille with trim-specific patterns, and 20-inch alloys. Market's availability for the electrified model is yet to be confirmed, but we have rather clear data that the new Santa Fe will have a 1.6-liter turbo-diesel hybrid paired to a 6-speed automatic with the all-wheel drive and terrain mode technology. Within the cabin, one will find nicer soft-touch materials, a 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster, and a 10.25-inch infotainment with standard voice-guided navigation. Subaru Forester e-Boxer Advertised as a self-charging hybrid, the all-new Forester e-Boxer becomes the only version of the model to be sold on the European market. It gets a 2-liter Boxer mill, a 16-horsepower motor, and a negligible size battery pack. The setup does manage to improve fuel economy for the Forester, which now equals to 6.7 liters per 100 kilometers, or 35 US MPG, in a combined cycle. Just as the previous gasoline crossover, the e-Boxer version boasts solid off-roading potential and gets standard symmetrical all-wheel drive system. On the inside, the model's undisputable advantages include an intuitively laid-out cockpit with a center touchscreen and smartphone connectivity, plenty of interior space and a huge boot. Kia Sorento Hybrid the fourth generation of Sorento is adopting the latest design choices of the brand, becoming more aggressive and boxier on the outside. The new sharp-edged Tiger nose grille is accompanied by Tiger eyeline headlights, and the rear gets prominent vertical lights and trapezoidal exhausts. Additionally, the model gets a hybrid drivetrain for the first time in its 20-year-long history. The system, dubbed the Smart Stream Turbo Hybrid, combines a 1.6-liter TGI a 59 horsepower motor and a small battery to deliver 230 horsepower and 259 pound feet of torque. The output is sent through a six speed automatic gearbox aided by an electrical device that allows to minimize energy loss. On the inside, the Sorento Hybrid benefits from the new infotainment and digital instrumentation, advanced safety tech, and plush cap and finishings. We should also mention that this model will not be the only electrified Sorento on the market since Kia plans to introduce a plug-in hybrid by the end of 2020.
Toyota Highlander Hybrid. The new Toyota Global Architecture allows the fourth-generation Highlander to grow slightly larger and implement a more economical powertrain in the hybrid form. This modification abandons the previously used V6 engine in favor of a 2.5-liter four-cylinder with intelligent variable valve timing assisted by a trio of electric motors. The setup produces 243 horses, 60 more than previously, and becomes 17% more efficient, returning 34 mpg in a combined cycle. Transmission responsibilities fall upon the electronically controlled CVT with sequential shift modes, plus there is an electronic on-demand all-wheel drive system in place. The new Toyota Highlander Hybrid is sold in LE, XLE Limited and Platinum trims, seating from 7 to 8 people. As standard, you get access to Toyota Safety Sense 2.0, 3 zone climate control, and an 8 inch infotainment. Would you trade an electric car for one of these efficient hybrids? Which model is your top pick? Like this video to help us grow, and let's get back to it! Hyundai Elantra Hybrid All new for 2021, the seventh generation Elantra abandons its humble compact car origins earning a new, sports sedan identity. The car is built on a novel K3 vehicle platform, boasting a longer wheelbase and wider body with a lower roofline. Coupled with the more angular details and unique grille work, these updates make the car look edgier and more athletic. Despite sportier design, the new Elantra actually becomes more economic, debuting with a newly developed hybrid powertrain. The system is built around a 1.6-liter GTI engine and a 42 horsepower electric motor that together net 139 ponies and 195 pound feet. The hybrid is expected to return 50 plus mpg in a combined cycle, plus, unlike its ice only sibling, it is linked to a six speed dual clutch instead of an IVT, which promises peppy performance and engaging driving. This four door coupe also debuts a cocoon interior layout, Hyundai Digital Key Tech and a dual-screen driver's interface. Honda Jazz Despite being overly saturated, the European B segment still remains a lucrative investment for automakers. So, there is no surprise that Honda decided to add a standard hybrid powertrain for the latest generation Jazz, which is one of the best-selling models in this niche. Exterior-wise, the hybrid model gained some new batching, but overall, retains the silhouette of its guest siblings, which is characterized by narrow grille with curvy edges, sharper wheel arches, wide stance, and a redesigned sleek A-pillar, which significantly improves forward visibility. Its powertrain consists of a 1.5-liter four-cylinder and two electric motors driving the front wheels. The total output of the system is rated at 107 horsepower and 187 pound-feet of torque. The standard features include 7-inch infotainment screen, adaptive cruise control, 10 airbags, collision mitigation system, and Android and Apple compatibility. Toyota Yaris Cross This B-segment crossover is a synergy of Toyota's rich expertise within manufacturing of compact city cars and larger SUVs. Designed in Europe specifically for the European market, the model meets all the requirements and preferences of the region and will be produced at Toyota Motor Manufacturing France alongside the Yaris hatch. The model was presented with a single all-new powertrain option, which was derived from 2 and 2.5-liter mills from Corolla, RAV4 and Camry. The 1.5-liter Atkinson Cycle 3-cylinder hybrid outputs 116 horses, has 40% thermal efficiency with yet unconfirmed MPG rating. The exterior changes allow the Yaris Cross to become a legitimate urban adventure vehicle, with 1.5-inch or 30mm raised clearance, added cladding, and beefier bumpers. Finally, its performance on the low curb surfaces and in poor road conditions is improved with the introduction of electric intelligent all-wheel drive. Subaru XV e Boxer while many of you are familiar with the Crosstrack Hybrid that has been sold in North America since 2019, this year the company is expanding its electrified range with the addition of the new XVE Boxer 
offered exclusively for the European market. Though the gasoline versions of these models are basically the same car, the hybrids do differ big time. Instead of a PHEV drivetrain, the e-boxer features a single 16-horsepower electric motor and a small battery pack that are aiding the familiar 2-liter four-cylinder engine. The crossover's total output reaches 150 horses and the combined mileage is claimed to be 36 mpg or 6.5 liters per 100 kilometers. On the outside, the hybrid car is distinguished by the new front grille design, new roof rails and e-boxer badging, while its cabin gets practically the same equipment as the gasoline XV. Hyundai Sonata Hybrid Fully redesigned for 2020, the eighth generation of the famous sedan debuts an all-new architecture and boasts advanced tech, excellent fuel efficiency, and an available solar roof. Its hybrid version gets a bit different front fascia, with a model-specific cross-hole grille pattern, a new rear spoiler, and more aerodynamic alloy wheels. It also comes with additional underbody panels and active front aero flaps that can divert the excess air when cooling is not needed, reducing the possible aerodynamic drag. The new Sonata Hybrid is propelled by a 2-liter inline-four engine and a 52-horsepower e-motor, which deliver the combined output of 192 ponies and 210 pound-feet of torque. Unlike its main US rivals, Toyota Camry and Hyundai Accord, the Sonata gets a conventional 6-speed automatic transmission. Plus, even in the base trim, the car comes with Hyundai's latest SmartSense Advanced Driver Assistance Package, 8-inch touchscreen infotainment, and full smartphone connectivity. Toyota Prius 20th Anniversary Edition Believe it or not, but the world's best-selling hybrid car has been present on the US market for two decades now, delivering low-cost daily commute to 1.9 million Americans. To acknowledge the success of the Prius, Toyota dealerships will be offering 2020 units of the limited 20th Anniversary Edition. Basically, it is a special modification based on the XLE front-wheel drive model with two colors and unique blackout trim and features. Moreover, the latest Toyota Safety Sense 2.0 is replacing the Safety Star system. The hatchback keeps its proven hybridized 1.8-liter four-cylinder drivetrain, producing net power of 121 HP and returning 52 mpg in the combined cycle. Once again, I'm asking the question whether strong hybrids deserve to exist or should we jump head-on into the electric cars era? Answer these questions in the comments below and mention your top picks from the video. Subscribe to Automotive Territory, leave a like and watch more episodes by clicking the links on the screen. As always, may the torque be with you!